Welcome back. We're on the last stretch of the show and it's celebration of life for former Nigerian ambassador to France and former minister of foreign affairs, Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji. A solemn service to start off the funeral activities for former Nigerian ambassador to France and former minister for foreign affairs, Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji. The service of songs in his honor was well attended by his former colleagues, retired permanent secretaries, former government officials, ambassadors, as well as other public servants, joining his family, led by his dear wife, Ulubumi, and his children for the special service. An accomplished diplomat, Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji, was lauded for his accomplishments in terms of his career and at the family front and service to the nation, a life the officiating minister says is worthy of emulation. He has set the right time for everything. He has given us a desire to know the future, but never gives us the satisfaction of full understanding what he does. So I realized that all we can do is to be happy and do the best we can while we are still alive. of our children in the name of Jesus. Take care of mama, take care of the children. On a daily basis, encompass them with your protection. Be with them. Grant them the consolation of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Father. We're truly grateful to God for the legacy that my father has left behind. He was truly a great communicator, a great um, distinguished diplomat. Obviously to us at home, he was just our father, but in all that we see, in all that we hear, we know that he accomplished great and mighty things. They've said so many things about him that I'm sure those of us who are his brothers and sisters never knew about him. Um, if you'll indulge me, sirs, um, they will have several uh, tributes, about two or three uh, tributes, including uh, Ambassador Lemu. Um, I think it would be a remiss of us as a family not to pay them that courtesy. He was a first-rate career diplomat. He served this country very diligently and he achieved, his, he made a huge success of his career. The next day, there was commendation service at our Saviour's Church, TBS Lagos. The service did not take too long as it was wrapped up. A uh, man of great humility, uh, very, very caring heart, uh, a complete gentleman. You know, uh, really, his passing on is a huge loss to the family and, of course, to the 
Federal Republic of Nigeria. We will miss him dearly. From there, all roads led to the Cathedral Church of our Savior Ijebuode, the hometown of the late ambassador. Nigerians from all walks of life converged on the church to honor and pay their last respects. There was a special rendition by the old students of the Jebode Grammar School, the alma mater of the late ambassador. That wrapped up the church service, and from there, the late ambassador was taken to his final resting place, where he was interred at a private ceremony. He was a peace-loving man. He was a caring man, a devoted husband and father and grandfather, so, and a devoted patriot of this country, Nigeria. Nigeria has a lot of very talented people that may not have the opportunity to show their true talent from when they're children to growing up. So I think if we get them young and we're able to support them and support their education, uh, which is fully paid for, I think uh, that will benefit the country greatly in the future. So that would hopefully be his lasting legacy amongst the other things he's done as well. And then entertainment of guests followed right away. Ambassador Oluyemi Adeniji joined the Nigerian Foreign Service in July 1960. He served in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Nigerian embassies in Washington, D.C., Sierra Leone, and Ghana. He retired from service in 1991 after serving as the Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for five years. He was the Nigerian ambassador to France. Late Ambassador Adeniji was the United Nations Secretary General Special Representative for the United Nations Mission in the Central African Republic. The mission was responsible for providing security in Bangui and coordinating the legislative and presidential elections held in 1998 and 1999. Late Ambassador Adeniji was appointed Minister for Foreign Affairs in July 2003. He died on November 27, 2017, in London at age 83.